Hey everybody, this is Bradford Harris, and I want to show you how you can blur objects in YouTube while you're still in YouTube. I know for some of us educators, um, when we're shooting something that we find neat, we may be unsure of if that certain image in the classroom may be appropriate or maybe the child's face needs to be blurred out and we want to fix it quickly and we just don't know how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, on here. So what you're going to do is you can get your videos from your device. You can get it from your Google Drive or your Google Photos and import or um, again just from your device. I already have two that I download to the desktop. What I'm going to do is before I do anything I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that my video is already set to private. Okay, and this is more of in case you're more of in a school setting or if you just want to just start off and play around with um, the blur features. <clears throat> so I have it set in private so nobody can see it. Then I'm going to take my image and I'm just going to upload it. I'm going to drag it or get it from a file and put it on to YouTube. And this is a real short video. So you're going to let that process, unless it's done processing, it'll look something like this, obviously. And what you'll do is you'll go to Enhancements. We'll just go back here and let this uh, download for a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once that is done, you're going to go to enhancements. It will be the magic wand, so you either will see it somewhere right uh, at the top, or if the video is already uploaded on YouTube, uh, the information will be at the bottom, but you'll look for that magic wand and the word enhancements, okay? You have a preview screen. It will either, it'll, the bar will be split in the middle from original and preview. Once you click on that, you'll want to click on blurring effects. Okay. So if you click on apply, it's going to automatically blur out every little face that it'll, it'll show. So I have one of my son here on this scooter. So as you can see, if you if I rewind back a little bit. This is the original size, so obviously you see his face a little bit. Okay, and then on the previous side, his face is already blurred. Now I can move this bar all the way to the end and I can rewind it all the way back so I can see the whole entire thing. Play that again. So one thing that I do want to pinpoint out on the automatic blur is that obviously from back here, you really can't tell who, um, who the person is. But as they get closer to the camera and they start kind of looking, the camera and slash YouTube will start to detect, OK, there's a face there. I'll start blurring it out. And so that's automatic blurring. OK, so let's say I take that off. And I want to go back to the very beginning or anywhere in this uh, footage. And I want to do custom blurring. So I'll click on edit. And now with custom blurring, I can blur where, anywhere I want to. So let's say, <coughs> excuse me, see this little object down here? I have no idea what it is. I guess it's a toy. There, there are crosshairs on the screen. So I just left click on my mouse and that object is blurred. Now let's say I also want to blur in um, this this tree right here. Left click and hold and that's blurred. Notice at the bottom I can lock this image so it will stay right where it is. I can click play 
and those images will stay blurred. Okay, I'm gonna rewind this right back. And at the bottom, you can, I can decide how long I want that blur to last. So the top one obviously is for the toy that's down here. Let's say I want to make that last for up to three seconds. And then I'll make the tree last all the way to the end of the video. Notice that it stopped after three seconds and then the other image just kept going. And it's still, and since that image is locked, it stayed locked in that particular area. I can always unlock it too. I haven't messed with the unlock feature yet. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. And so again, just play around with it and see what you think. I think this is good, especially for us educators who want to um, kind of blur things out in the classroom that we want, don't want people to see, um, whether it be appropriate or inappropriate, doesn't matter, or if there's certain faces. Uh, again, you can still do the blurred feature, uh, customize with faces in the beginning, but it's kind of hard to play with a little bit. So again, this is just playing around, but this is just how you do blurring. So if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Thanks.